Hello YouTube, this will be a mod review of the Crafting Dead mod, of its latest version in 2019. I will be doing this review because no one has actually made a review like this. And this is very recent, and the mod pack needs a little bit more attention to, uh, to be fun again, so. I'm doing this review so you know if you should get the mod pack, and what it's in it, it's way better than plans, I promise, and it's amazing. So let's get started with the first thing, the weapons. There's tons of different weapons in the crafting dead. We're going to start first with grenades. There's the flash grenade, which flashes you as you can see. Um, this is a fire grenade, which does that. The decoy grenade, which makes RPK sounds, or the old AK. The smoke grenade, which makes smoke. The frag grenade, and the explosive grenades do not make holes, so when they explode, but they do a ton of damage. This is the pipe bomb, which is a longer fuse version of the frag grenade. Here's some side by side. You see the, the frag grenade float first. This is the gas grenade, which slowly kills people over time. I don't know if it's going to affect the skeleton. But it does one heart of damage every tick. This is a 3-4. You can do it like you do on Call of Duty. Let's do that. And it has a really far range of spread. And that is the grenades. Um, now we start with the actual guns. This is ARs and LMGs. There are eight different ARs and four different LMGs. And. The ARs have different ammos, well these do, and this LMG has different ammos, and you want to grab your uh, guns, I'm grabbing the guns right now to test them, and show you what they do. So first, we're going to start with my favorite, the G36C, and the G36C is a low recoil, uh, medium damage AR. Really nice. Next, we have the NFL foul. The NFL. It's semi automatic, only semi auto AR locked to semi auto. As you can see, it has high crit damage too. This is the HK. I have, by pressing F, you can change firing modes, and as you can see, the semi, and this gun, there's its stats, 8, 5, god damn dog won't shut up, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut the recorder real quick, oh, but, sorry for the mic quality, but, the HK sports a low, uh, Low fire rate, high, uh, high recoil, and I think it's pretty satisfying. The next gun, the Remington ACR. This is one of my favorite guns too. It has two firing modes, and its stats are right here. Pretty, uh, pretty low damage, low fire rate, and Decently high recoil was my favorite because I can double kill. That's that. MPT is the only assault rifle in the game that has only two firing modes, burst and semi. Well, not only two, but two different firing modes from automatic. It is pretty satisfying to shoot and has virtually no recoil. And it's one of my favorites. There's its stats. Uh, this is the AK-47. A classic. It is a. Uh, it has seven damage and fourteen headshot damage. It has really high recoil, and a RPM is six hundred. It has two firing modes. And this is how it shoots. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Next, 
next is the Scar H, which has three different types of mag capacities, and it has six damage and sixteen headshot damage, really high headshot damage. The RPM of five forty is a uh, really, uh, really low fire rate. Recoil of 8.5 is less than the 8k, and it. Oh, all weapons do decrease with this gear, I didn't mention that. As you can see, how it sounds when you shoot it. That floating box is a uh, hit box for bullets, just so you know. And it's not a ghost, it has three firing modes. Next is the M8 A1. The tryhards love this gun. Because of its high fire rate and virtually no and decent damage. Well, that didn't work, so ignore what I did right there. I'm new to commands. And there's a stats with a high fire rate. Next we have L oh, next we have LMGs. The RPK has two different magazines. This one doesn't have a minigun, but it's an explosive. If you would like. It has three different LMGs. The first one is the M240B. High recoil. Oh, let me turn that off real quick. Mm -hmm. Alright, high recoil. High damage. High fire rate. There's its stats. Now I'll throw that. And now we have the, uh, the MK48 mod. Lower recoil than that one. Same, uh, roughly the same damage. And, uh, less fire rate. And the sound here. Next is the minigun, which I don't really like. It has low damage and high fire rate, high magazine size, and low accuracy. There's its stats. Next is the RPK, which I believe has really close stats to the AK. That's the same size as it. And what's making this, this makes the same sound as the decoy grenade. Pretty cool gun. And I'm gonna need this real quick. Next we have the pistols and snipers. This is the taser. What this does is when you shoot somebody they get blinded. But there's no one to test this on right now. Next is an M1911. Low magazine size. There's its stats. It's a classic. The G18. The pistol of a uh, of tickles. As if you put a suppressor on it, it does two damage. It does four base damage, and it's really nothing special. Really bad gun. <laughs> There's its stats. It is the M9 Classic. It is one of my favorite pistols because I can actually have fun with this. It has a really high magazine size, the second highest of the pistols, and it starts its stats. Now we have the Desert Eagle. Some of y'all might like it. I really don't. It makes the Mod Warfare 2 Desert Eagle. Oh no, not Mod Warfare 2, Mod Warfare 1. But, yeah. Here. That's its stats. The P250, which is one of the most weirdest weapons ever. There's its stats and it's how it shoots. It's the 44 mag. And there's its stats. It's how it shoots. Also, sporting the second lowest magazine size. This is my favorite in the 5.7. New pistol to the game. There's its stats, and this is how it shoots. High magazine size. It was a lot of more fun. 
Next we have the snipers. Which some of these weapons you might think that's not a sniper, but they are technically kind of the snipers. Not no none of the snipers come with scopes for you on them. And the M107 and the AS50 both come with armor penetrating variants of the ammo. And this is the Alm, which is the most classic of them all. Let's start with this one. It's a very loud sniper. I do not like how loud this one is. But we're gonna, we're gonna keep that for later. The M107, the best sniper in the game currently. Really nice, smooth sound. And there's its stats. The Sporter, the meme gun. There's its stats. Most of, uh, like, magazine size of any sniper, and that's how it fires. Barely any recoil. And if you don't, and, uh, it's pretty decent. The MDR, and one of the most weird snipers on the wall. The least amount of ammo for a semi auto sniper. Least amount of ammo for any sniper, actually. And that's its stats. M1 Grand, classic, second lowest uh, magazine size, I mean not second lowest, but you, you get what I mean, it has a low magazine size for a semi, there's its stats, this is the AS50, It uh, it's normal rounds can actually have, uh, I do not want that, it can have a, uh, this right here, uh, 10 rounds, I believe. Yeah, 10. Because they're pretty cool sound. Probably a Call of Duty sound, but I would never call it you. Pretty cool. Now we have the special weapon, the crossbow. And this one, it shoots bolts. If you couldn't guess. There you go. And, uh, the ammo also is reusable. Next we have shotguns and SMGs. Uh, we're gonna save this for later. No, I'm gonna show you this in a minute. But, this is the trench gun. It is a shotgun. And has a weird aiming sight. And a sound that probably came off of, like, a Call of Duty. This is a Mosrick 50. Oh, I forgot to show the stats. There's its stats. This is a Mosrick 50. Really sad like sound. There's its stats. Alright. Next, we have the SMGs, which is the worst class in the game, in my opinion. These two SMGs have extended rounds. Um, the Max 10 and the MP5. This is the MP5, which has the the least accurate sights in the game, as the bullet hits super high up from where you're shooting, which is pretty funny. Like if I shoot that shit, it's gonna land at the very top of the second one. There's its stats. I need to fix the sight on that one. The vector. There's its sights. Really accurate. Really, really fun to use. There's its stats. The Mag 10, which was one of my go-to weapons back in the day, because this is the only SMG I had in my type of day. There's it. That's how it does it, and it is actually. Pretty low damage. Um, 45 ammo count. It's the P90, highest uh, magazine size for any SMG. There's its stats, and this is I do not. It's really loud. And this is why I saved these weapons right here. Oh, I need to show the flamethrower. Let me get that out in a minute. Mm. 
that I can find what I need. The flamethrower needs a special backpack for it to order to be like used. And you should easily find out which what it needs because it, it says in plain text, you know. You'll tank for flamethrower. You put this on, you open it, you put a fuel tank, you grab your uh, handy handy flamethrower, and that does. Oh! Well, those are the weak zombies, they have very low health. Damn it, let me get new ones. I'll be back in there. Let me get the main. Also, name all my zombies. Throw that out. And I do not need to save that word. Damn it. Alright. Next we have attachments and paints. I'm not gonna have to go through every paint, but use the paints. Because they make your gun change camo as you can probably guess. But now it's gonna show off the attachments. Now, the M8 has a special ability of having you can put any attachment on it except for the 10x scope, if I believe. No, you can put a 10x scope on it, so I don't know why I'm that. Alright. This is the 10x scope, and I'm missing one attachment, just realized. As you can see, really zoomed in. Now, it's the, uh,. The five times the concern, which people prefer to five times over the ten times because of its vertical. You see, it's red. Oh no! Killed it. All right. That's that. I'm gonna throw it off. This is a suppressor. Suppressor lowers your gun's damage by two. But makes it more quiet, and the zombies are less likely to spawn if you shoot your gun. Ah, oh, pretty satisfying. Alright. Now let's go to... Next attachment. A cog scope. There, that does that. Um... Really annoying how it switch all the time. Next is the is the red dot. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Next we have the EOTech, which is a new attachment to the game, probably one of the worst, because of its reticle. That's how it does its thing. Next is the uh, control attachments. The grip uh, tightens your accuracy. And the bipod lowers your recoil. There you go. Time for the melee weapons. There are quite a few. So let's start with these. The first is the bowing knife. I don't know why I'm even showing these, I just show you the stats. There's the stats of those. And some of the melee weapons have special abilities, like these, can cut handcuffs off of people. This one is the hatchet, the knife, the old shovel, the steel bat, the bow staff, the scythe, which is really good. The broken chainsaw, the knife stick, the rusty pipe, the baseball bat, the crowbar, the golf glove, the ice pick, the broken glass bottle, the weapon ice scythe, the sledgehammer, and the meat shaker. Next we have uh, the zombies, yeah, I'm not, I'm not skip the zombies. These are the weak zombies, they have less health than the other ones, they move at a pretty slow pace. These are the tank zombies which have an incredible amount of health, like... 60 or 80, if I'm not mistaken, over there. And they take a lot to kill. Next is the fast zombies, which are really fast. 
I just gotta show you. Why aren't they attacking? Ow. Alright. Oh, by the way, King Zombies do an insane amount of damage to you. Even if armory. Oh, yeah, that much. As you can see. Oh, also when this is my pack, if you die, your body is right here, your items don't drop, and you can collect all your items. Um, let me clear these out. No, is there a gun in the ground somewhere? Uh, I dropped all the guns. I forgot. Alright, um... Yeah, give me that. There you go. Next we have the backpacks. And... There's backpacks in this game as well. The large backpacks hold 30 items. Small, I mean 27 items. Small backpacks hold 9. Medium hold, uh, like eight, yeah, medium hold 18. 10 gun bags can hold guns. All backpacks can hold guns, except for these two. And this is the special edition ammo bag, which is the worst bag. Because it only has 9 slots. And all backpacks make you lose water faster. And water is a new bar that's added with this mod. Next, we have vest. A vest reduced damage taken by 20%, and they can store 18 items in them each. Next we have outfits. These are all the things you can wear in the game. Medium tier. Alright, so let me show you. And... One, two, alright. Now I need to get the special one. And then the low. And a nut. And these are the outfits, casual clothing, no protection, sheriff clothing, little protection. This clothing, oh shit. Oh god. Oh no. This gives you extra bullet protection, but makes you slower. Medium clothing does this. And a heavy clothing does the same amount of protection, just makes does not make you slower. Uh no 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 no. Alright. This time it's gonna be following me. So I gotta get a gun again. Alright. And that's all the clothing protection, and there are a ton of clothing in this game. These are all the bulletproof helmets in the game, which are if you get shot in the head by a gun, these will reduce the damage taken by you. And these are all of them. This one's weird. This is all the other things. All the other masks, these are the special masks that reduce flash beam. This is night vision goggles. And this is scuba mask, which scuba mask uh, makes you move faster in water. If you have the gear on too. And this is what the night vision goggles do when you press in. Uh, and it's just minimap, there's a thing. But what it does is it turns your screen green. And it gives you night vision. Next we have building. This is building in this game. You can build bases in the server. And this is all the stuff you need. I got every base part and everything with it. I just need to find this is a blank blueprint. You combine this with uh I where is it? Uh 
hatchet, this, uh, axes and pickaxes, I believe. Let me get them out. Can, I'll show you what they do in a second. Just gotta find them. Um, alright. I'll show you what these do in a second. Alright, let's start with making a base itself. You want to get your base blueprint. And you want to bring it to a safe place where nothing is around to interfere. And there it goes. Oh. Nide. Alright, right here. Why are they denied in this area? Are we gonna go super far away? There you go. And also, items look like that when they drop. And this server comes with a custom texture pack. Next, I'll show you how these work. These are the stuff you can craft. Everything in my inventory you can make except for the forge table. And you, the way you get these materials is you take any of uh, any one of these items right here and you go hit stone or wood and you go harvest pieces. And you use those in a blank blueprint to craft, you know, these. And that's that. And to, uh, now I'll show you what each one of these prints do. Alright, first we have reinforced concrete wall. It makes that wall. Now we have reinforced barbed wire. Now we have barbed wire. Now we have a uh, uh, stone platform. We have campfire. We have chest. We have door to a stone door, which looks like that. And we have reinforced concrete platform. There you go. Time to get rid of these. And then use the rest of the blueprints in the game. Alright. Let's get these. Alright. Next we have a wooden platform which makes a wooden platform. Also, wood is can, wood, and some materials in this game can be shot through. Like wood, wool, leaves, and all that. So I prefer you build your base out of stone. Did not mean to do that. Um, next we have sand barrier, which looks pretty cool. You build this like this. Boom, you can stack them. Amazing. Alright, now we have stone wall. Now we have a wooden door. We have reinforced concrete door. And now we have forge table. Forge table is used to craft special ammo with special abilities. I'll show you how that works in just a minute. And next we have these items right here. Wire cutters, base hammer, and hand drill. These these items and some more in uh I think fireman's axe can be used to edit your uh your house. So base hammer can delete stone. 
delete wood. And I'm not sure about concrete. It can delete concrete. Hand drill. It can delete concrete. I'm gonna mix that noise. And wire cutters can can delete barbed wires. And that's that. And next we move on to how to work the forge table. Alright, so you just go to your forge table, your handy oh you can use other people's forge tables too. And these are all the things you can use to craft special ammo, and I'll show you how to craft special ammo. And I'm gonna craft infected ammo. And what you would need is scrap metal, the thing you want to make your bullets into, and the bullets themselves, and it's going to go through that process, like a uh, smeltery. Now we're going to use some ammos. And this is explosive ammo, and like every five shots, it will make an explosion. Which I don't know what it does, but I mean, it's a thing. Next. We have incendiary, which I I hope you know what that means, but this is how it goes. You shoot something, there's a chance to catch on fire. There you go. And it's like fire aspect one. I keep my gun back. Next, we're gonna have infected ammo, which will infect people that you shoot, but we don't have nobody to shoot, but it makes the green particles happen when you get R.I.B. Which is something that could happen in this game if you get hit by a zombie enough. And you could also bleed, if I didn't mention that. Next, we have looting. These are looting items. These are looting spawns. This is military, police, medical, rare residential, and residential. Residential loot drops these I like items like this and has it and has a low chance to drop blueprints and a very low chance to drop guns and ammo. Next we have rare residential, which can drop has a high chance of dropping blueprints, can drop special armors, and can drop better weapons, and has a higher chance of dropping guns and all that. And ammos. Next, we have medical, which can give red backpacks, some types of armor, and things that help you if you get hurt. And this mod, you could also break your leg, which causes a temporary blindness effect and slowness until you fix it with items I'm going to show you in a second. Next, we have police loot, which has an even higher chance of dropping weapons. It has, look, see? And it can drop food and it'll please steam weapons. And why is there a grenade? And it has a high chance of dropping juggernaut armor. Next we have military loot, which can drop military things. So the big guns that you can't normally get from police loot and all that, you can drop them here pretty commonly. It drops ammo a lot and police clothing and all that. Next we have things you can obtain from zombies which are loot crates and you click down on these and they give you a item they have a chance to give and there's the items a bravo crate and charlie crate and we do not need all these things that it just gave me but the guns that it does give you are loaded preloaded next and they drop from zombies crates always drop from zombies next we have a medical drop which is a supply drop that will drop medical, as you can see. Medical loot. And uh, it has a, a pretty like uncommon chance of dropping weapons in it. Next is military drops. And military drops are the only way to obtain uh, astronaut armor and miniguns and some of the paint cans. As you can see, let's see if I get some astronaut armor. 
It's very rare. I mean, it's not very rare, but it's rare to get astronaut armor. There are really good sorts of finding paint cans, and you cannot get these out in the wild. You have to spawn them in through creative. On the servers, they have random drops. And this is one. It doesn't have any rare. Oh, it has minigun ammo, which has a 0% chance of dropping. Well, I was 0.1% chance of dropping. Which is extremely layer. Extremely. Damn. This is the uh, another one. With no minigun, because miniguns are pretty rare. It seems like every single time you get one of these, you always have an RPK drum bag. This is the loot spawners. Not all loot spawners look like this. They can look like anything. The way you identify them is in survival. Is you just like punch them and it makes like particles. And all loot spawners can be camouflaged, as you can see. There you go. Next, we have other things you can obtain items from. Shelves can have food. And sometimes guns, video machines can have food, but they can only be looted once, and there's like a cooldown. And next we have the specialty decoration blocks. There they are. This is an anti-base spawner. This is a barrier. This is road, and those are two different types of road with stripes. These is a uh, Cone, another cone, stop sign. You could get water from this. Uh, I don't, I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Uh, these barriers, shop safe zone and airfield caution. These are all the slabs that they add. And um, next we have food items, which I'm, I don't want any mobs coming around me when I do this. So. Build my house. Build myself a house. My expert building skills. And I'm also going to show you how you break your lead. How you obtain RIB and how to bleed in a second with my little buddies. So, game mode S. Uh, I spelled that so wrong. I'm so sorry. This is. This is canned goods. There's the stats of all the cans and what you can get from them. And these are the three things you can use to open cans. Let's say you want dog food really bad and you're starving to death and you have nothing else to eat. Boom! There you go. Next we have fruits. Fruits restore food and water. But there's also rotten versions that can give you poison and I believe hunger. There you go. Uh, poison and nausea. My bad, not hunger. Next we have the dry foods. This noodle cup is the only dry food that can give you water. These are the stats. The best, in my opinion, are cereal boxes. Oops, what I Where is it? And this is EMRE, the best food item in the game. Restores the most food and gives the most water. And we eat right now, I mean potato chips. Now, we got the water. These are all the items that can give you water in the game. Some items can be refilled, like water bottles. Can be refilled by... The little water tanks over there in flask and canist and uh, canteens to be refilled the same way. There's some of the water items, and you can mix flasks with uh, tea bags and coffee beans to get more water out of them. Next, we have the medical, and these are the medical items, and they will sh they will tell you what they do. Like blood bags give you health. And you can click on a player to get health back. We have splints that can fix your leg, so as the morphine and med packs and pills. Oh yeah, pills and band aids. And I don't know what's what's being. Uh, and we're gonna go break our leg real quick. 
show you what happens. Alright, let me try again. Oh, hell no, Mr. Creeper. I ain't afraid of no creeper. Alright. Okay, yes, creeper. There you go, I broke my leg. You pop your pills, your antibiotics are morphine, and you become way better. Next, I want to bleed and all that, but first, I gotta activate my superpowers, and I gotta speed away. Alright, zombies. I have a chance to give you R.I.B. and bleeding effects. Uh. Uh. These zombies. Why won't they hurt me? I'm dying. I need help. This is not good. They're killing my obsessed zombies. Do I have any guns? Do I have any guns? I have guns. Alright. I'm gonna die. You have to die. I'm just gonna come back. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get RIB because of everything around me. So, that's that. And that is basically everything the mod has to offer. And this is the uh, useless item that says as items I can't use right now. I can't. I have no idea what they do. Well, like, I like shock and stuff, and range finders you can use to find things. But, I mean, shock can be used to name things. Handcuffs can be used to handcuff people. Handcuff keys to look at handcuffs. Rope, the PVC pipe, and the current signal have no use whatsoever. Range finders have an off reticle, which annoys me. Shock you can name weapons with. They combine them to make named weapons. And that is everything this mod has to offer. In my opinion, it's an amazing mod and I think you should look into it. I hope this guide was good to for you to figure out how the mod works. And I showed off everything in the mod and the mod the mod pack. It has a texture pack and I need to show off the servers. These are the servers. Dead Island is a city, is a city thing. Atlanta is like a suburban spread out city. And so as uh, Somerset, which is all fine right now. And Charlene is a super spread out rural, like rural area. Seaport is not connected to the official servers at all, but these are the servers. Seaport is city. DC is based off of DC. And Cardiff is a rule like medieval area, I believe. And uh, that's it. That's everything the server has to offer. Here is what you can dedicate all the server to uh, the people right here. And if you like my guide, please feel free to subscribe. And if this helps you in any way, like it. And I will see you later.